What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you a way to make your blockouts way faster using Unreal's modeling tools. With that said, it's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, I have this plane, you know, in the middle of my level with a little texture in it, which is going to be my plan for the outline of, in this case, the room that I want to make. Now, there's many ways to build this room in terms of infrastructure and you know kind of the walls really right we can go ahead and go outside of unreal and use a 3d software like blender or maya to you know create you know the room itself but we can also do this inside of unreal engine and of course inside of unreal engine there's also many different ways a similar way that a lot of people use use is just you know to add for example a cube right stretch it over here and then you're know, slowly gonna ahead and just make the walls and duplicate them and i mean that works and maybe there's some cases where you want that control on individual pieces you know that works that works but there's a way faster way to do it using unreal modeling tools so if we go up here into the selection mode we can change this into the modeling mode and as you can see there's different options over here in the create tab so the create tab is to create new shapes Specifically, we have the extrude polygon and extrude path. In this case, we can go ahead and create little like walls and rooms and everything with these two options. So for example, with a path, I can select this and I have, you know, this kind of, uh, let's say grid in my level with a lot of different, you know, kind of uh, parameters. So I can literally just add a point and add another point over here and start to kind of make a path right and I finish up and I make this shape over here and then select the height and boom as you can see I made this like a so right it's very very easy um the trick is really to change the width so I can change this to be on fixed and put the width to be like three and now I can start to make you know walls like this so imagine I, I'm, I'm used to making a room here right if i now go ahead and click there we go i made little walls so this is the tool that we are going to be using today little like splines or points that you add with a fixed width so it's going to be easy so let's go ahead and change here the perspective so i'm going to go ahead and change this to top and then change the wireframe root to be unlit and now we can basically see this room exactly like it is i'm gonna press g to hide some things and then i'm gonna start to zoom in now make sure that you have the width on a fixed so you know we have more control over how wide these rooms will be okay so then we start you know placing our path over here and slowly kind of making our way over the room right so this is going to be very good for block outs okay which is just for testing your levels and you know maybe your designer right made a plan for you and boom now we will have a room so then I can go ahead and change this to be on perspective so it's easier you know click again and now boom once you click again you can set the height so this is up to you I'm gonna put like until here we click again and we convert this little shape that we made into an actual mesh so once we hit complete boom there we go we have generated you know the path as you can see in this little folder and so now we're able to you know change the material or whatever you want from this you know plan that i had so i could go here and change this to be like a wall and you can see it's super easy to now create rooms i literally create this in five seconds and using this in real tools now similarly we have the extrude polygon where we can make also shapes but this is a bit different because it will fill in the interior if that makes sense so if i go here and start to make a little room and finish this up once i click as you can see i go directly to the height but the whole interior is blocked right we essentially have a whole mesh and it's not only like a little path where there's only a certain amount of width being filled in right so this in the interior is literally a whole mesh it's essentially not a room really right so 
you know, with a combination of these two, you can really create interesting things. Of course, we have way more tools over here like stairs, cylinders and so on, but the main ones are going to be the extrude polygon and extrude pad, which is going to allow you to create blockouts very easily by just literally like drawing you know, a little spline, right? A little like pad. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. As you can see, we have a lot of control with these tools over here. And, you know, I, of course, choose also a very simple example so you guys get the concept and then adapt these tools into your own project. So that's it, guys. I found this video helpful. I would really appreciate it if you like video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unruined Jeff videos and tutorials, so check them out. And now, yes, with all I said, bye bye.